Hello everyone, my name is Arden Kyle Duque and today I'm going to have my demonstration as part of my school requirements and my topic for today is all about personification. Okay, so let's start. Okay, may I ask everyone to please stand. Let's bow down our heads and let us pray. Okay? Amen. So good morning class. Okay, good morning. So I'm going to check your attendance. I want you to say present as I call your name, okay? Okay. Mark, present. James, okay. Paul, okay, very good. Alisa, okay. Karen, Jessa, okay. So majority of us today is present. So let's give ourselves a round of applause. Okay, class. Can you still remember our topic yesterday? Yes, Jessa. Very good. It's all about similes and metaphor. So. Who can give me an example of a simile? Yes, Paul. Very good. How about metaphor? Yes? Okay, very good, Jessa. So I think you can still remember our topic yesterday. So are you ready for our new topic today? Okay, so before we start, I'm going to divide you into two groups and let us have our activity. Okay, this will be the group one. Okay. And this would be the group two, okay? So I want you to choose your leader, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to flash a video on our screen and I want you to observe properly in the video and take down what you have observed in the video and the group leader will present here in front what you have observed. Is that clear? Okay, so as you observe in the video, please be quiet, okay? So let's start. Personification, personification, making something come alive with the words that you provide in situations. Personification, take something that you're saying and it acts just like a person. The flowers danced in the wind, but they don't dance even if they had the chance, but they move together. Partner, it's a nice way of saying what the flowers were doing today. Personification, personification, making something come alive with the words that you provide in situations. Personification, take something that you're saying and it acts just like a person. The city I live in never sleeps. Said that the city goes to bed, and I think you'll agree how big that bed would be. And it's a way to write down that there's always some people around. The wind sang through the trees means that there was a breeze. The clock screams in my ear. The time to wake. Yeah, the sun smiled down at me uh, Good day, it's gonna be this gray sweater is my friend I guess I look good again Personification, personification Making something come alive With the words that you provide in situations Personification, take something that you're saying And it acts just like a person Something that you're saying and it acts just like a person Hey, so are you done? Okay, so the first whole percent is the group one. Okay, group one. Okay, let's give the group one a round of applause. Okay. Okay, very good group one. You have really observed well in the video. How about the group two? Okay, so I think they're ready. Let's give the group two a round of applause. Okay, come here group two. Okay, very good group two. And your answers are all correct and you have similarities, right? Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. Who are the characters in the video? 
Okay, the what, Jessa? Flower. So what did the flower do, James? Dancing in the wind. Very good, James. Can a flower really dance? No. Why? Okay, because it doesn't have a feet or a hand, and it's rooted in the soil. Okay, very good. So what else? Who else the character? Who else are the characters in the video? Okay, Bernadette. Yes, the the city. What the city do? City never sleeps. Very good, Paul. The city never sleep. How? Okay, can the city really sleep? No. Okay, only humans can, and also animals. So how about the cake? Okay, the cake is calling my name. Very good, Jessa. So can a cake really call your name? No, because the cake cannot speak. Okay, so very good. I think you observe really well in the video. So what do you think is our topic today? Okay, anyone? You don't know what is our topic for today? Okay, so I want you to read our objective for today, okay? I want everyone to read together. Okay, so let's read our objective. Objective. Okay, very good. So our topic for today is all about yes personification so who among you have prior knowledge about personification yes jessa very good okay a personification is a figure of speech in which an object an idea or an animal is given human qualities okay so if you can see or hear an object idea or an animal acting like humans it is an example of a personification. Yes, correct. Just like what you have watched in the video. Just like the flower. Flower dance in the wind. That is the best example of a personification. Why? Because, yes, the flower is given a human qualities just like she dance. And that made the sentence, yes, a best example of a personification. Very good. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to post a sentences here in front and you're going to underline the human qualities that is put in an object, idea, or an animal that made the sentence best example of a personification. Okay, so number one. Who can answer number one? Okay, Jessa, come here in front. Okay, very good. So the gentle wind softly kissed my cheek. So the human qualities that is put in the wind is what? Okay, kiss. Can the wind really kiss you? Yes. No. Okay, so the human qualities that is put in the wind is kiss. So just like what I said earlier, if an idea, object, or an animal is acting like human, it is an example of a yes personification. Just to underline kiss, it is correct. Yes, correct. Okay, number two. Who can answer number two? Okay, Paul, come to your in front and underline the sen the word in the sentence. Very good, Paul. The candle flame dance in the dark. So, Paul underline dance. So, it, do you think it is correct? Very good. So, the candle flame dance in the dark. The human qualities that is put in the candle is dance. That's correct. Very good, Paul. How about number three? Yes, Bernadette. Come here in front. The party died as soon as he left. Okay, so Bernadette underlined died. Do you think it is correct? Yes, the human qualities given to the party is died. And the died made the sentence best example of a personification. Correct. How about number four? I want Mark to answer. The number four sentence. Okay, come here in front, Mark. Okay, the chocolate icing is really tempting me. So, Mark underlined tempting. Okay, so the human qualities that's given to the ice cream is tempting. Okay, so Mark is correct. Tempting. The word tempting is the word that made the sentence an example of a personification. Very good, Mark. Okay, the number five, the last one. 
I want anyone. Okay, Karen will answer the number five sentence. Okay, the bell refused to ring. So, Karen underlined the word refuse. So, the human qualities that is put in the bell is refuse. Very good, Karen. Your answer is correct. So, I think you already understand our topic for today is personification. What is personification again? Personification is a yes. Karen? Yes, very good, Karen. Personification is a figure of speech in which an object, idea, or an animal is given human qualities. So, if you can imagine an idea, animal, or an object is acting like human, yes, it is an example of a personification. Very good. So, are you ready for our next activity for today? Okay, so I want you to go back to your groups earlier. Yes, the group one and the group two. Okay, okay, group one, are you ready? And the group two? Okay, very good. So what we're going to do today is that I'm going to post phrases in front and I want you to complete the phrases and make a sentence. And yes, make the sentence the best, exam best example of a personification, okay? Six sentences. Okay. Okay. So I want you to complete that sentence and make it an, exa an example of a personification. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's start. Oh, I think the group one is already finished. How about the group two? Okay, they're doing okay. They just continue doing group two, okay. Let's wait for the group two guys, okay? I think the group is already finished. Okay, so let's check your work. So the group will present first their answers. Okay, come here group 2 in front. Okay, very good group 2. Group 2 answered all the phrases correct and made the best example of and made the best example of a personification. Very good group 2. Let's give them a round of applause. Okay, so about the group 1. Okay, let's give a round of applause for group one. Okay, very good group one. You have answered all the phrases correct. I think you already understand what is for signification already. Okay, so let's give ourselves a round of applause again. Okay, I want you to go back to your properties right now. Okay. So arrange your chairs in the back. Okay, very good. So let's do a recap. What is personification again? Very good. Can you give me an example of a personification, Hannah? Okay, very good. Another one? Yes, Paul. Okay, very good. Okay, so I think you already understand our topic for today. So for your assignment, I want you to research about hyperbole. Okay, that will be our topic tomorrow. Okay, do you understand? Okay, so may I ask everyone to please stand? Okay, let's stand. Let's bow down our heads and let us pray. Father, thank you for the knowledge for today. Thank you for the learning. Guide us in this reign and mighty name Jesus. Amen. Amen. So goodbye, class. Okay, goodbye. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to bring your assignment, okay? Okay.